And I will stumble into beauty Recognizing that it's me I will open up my heart And surrender unto thee Hey beautiful family I thought I'd introduce you all to a term Some of you, some of you not Because some of you have commented mentioning this I spoke in my last video about division and division exists all the time when we create mental image and cling to them and so as someone who has moved in Christian circles and also allowed myself the expansiveness to look in other places as well for that which I find familiar and resonating with my heart then something comes up and that is praying in tongues which is a Christian term for a type of prayer which I'll explain and light language or speaking light language which is exactly the same thing it's exactly the same it sounds the same uh, I've seen both sides of it and it's the same thing and yet if you were to take some Christians who know about speaking in tongues and let them meet someone who's speaking light language they might be tempted to enter the mental identity and judge them and say this is new age this is and whatever other negative connotation they want to put on stuff and so I find it amusing for myself that there are humans in this world now who they don't realize that the actions in the now are the expression of spirit and the chatter and the symbols of the mind is so varied among humans that one will have a certain mental image and structure inside the mind that it's around Christianity and another will have it around light language and aliens or higher dimensional forces etc and they might engage even with their linear communication system of words and debate each other about it but when all is said and done and the mind is quiet this person who's speaking tongues and this person speaking light language are both praying in the same way and they are both getting the same experiences they are both getting the same healing from it they're both healing others with it and they're both uh, getting the same peace from it and the the visions the 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 insight it's all coming from the same type of prayer tongues and light language are the same thing now why do I suddenly mention this well I myself which I'm not ready to do publicly as yet but I began to pray in tongues or speak li speak light language and so I want to tell you a very interesting little story this was happening to me on and off sometimes and if you don't know what it is it's a it's a language that comes through you and, and it's not that you are consciously making sounds it 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 comes through who you are it's a, it's the spirit coming through you and you have no idea what you're saying or what you're going to be saying but somehow it starts to organize your energy and your body and and clears things and even with myself now sometimes I have pain with my autoimmune stuff and light language will come and within five minutes of praying in in tongues or praying in light language or whichever side the fence you want to be on uh, the pain will start to go away and so there's something profoundly beautiful about this experience obviously and it only came when I started to let go and dismantle the the ego that I'd built up over the last years whilst I was in Tanzania and walking in a state of non-duality where I don't try to control but I accept that I am an expression, a participant in nature's happening, in the cosmos's happening. I'm not a mental identity that's trying to control it. And so I've had it where I feel negative entities have come onto my family or myself and all of a sudden it comes praying in tongues or praying light language and they are cleared from it and it's a deeply beautiful experience 
profoundly beautiful. It stills the mind. Like I, I, I can't describe the feeling. It just makes you so still. Gives you a cocoon, an unshakable cocoon of stillness inside you, where your words come from. Your words don't come from. They come from from that cocoon of stillness. And so this was happening to me sporadically. Okay. And a few weeks ago in Germany, it came very clearly. And it went on for an hour for the first time. And it was beautiful. And I could feel the energy changing in me as it was happening. And I told Fritzi, and of course, Fritzi's married to me, but she's not experiencing that right now. And so you worry about these things and how it is for someone's mind to navigate this, because everybody has a mind. But the universe and my wonderful God always provides an answer to these things. So the day after this happened, I told Fritzi what had happened that night before in meditation. We then took the boys to the playground. And when we took the boys to the playground, Akila wandered off to an elderly lady who was sitting on her own on a park bench. And we began to talk to her. And her name is Liana. And she's a beautiful soul. And I already love her very much for all she's new to our life. And within a few minutes of meeting Liana, she was talking about light language. And she mentioned that she thinks I'm an Arcturian, which is a, a school of thought, an experience for some, that it's that you are a, seeded in a human body from another part of the cosmos, another alien, another species, another, another expression of life somewhere. And so this was the day after it happened. And within a few minutes of meeting Liana, she starts talking about this. So this was a great confirmation for Fritzi as well that John is having a human experience. Don't start pulling back to your German identity and questioning if he's losing, his, losing himself or something. And so the light language has continued. The praying in tongues has continued. And And I looked into Arcturians, and a lot of people describe Arcturians as blue, funnily enough. And so I don't sit here saying I have any answers. I don't. But I do sit here saying that there's something very beautiful going on in this time of evolution and transition in my life. And the synchronicities are profound and there to see. And in among all of this, having walked on two sides of the road, I urge everybody who has mental images to try and symbols, to try and depict and define the experience of God's love or God's presence in their life. To try and observe the experience of others without an attachment to your symbols and your images and to watch and see it for yourself that a Christian who will be condemning someone as new age is praying in exactly the same way as that person and I've seen it and they are both getting the same outcomes in their life they're both caring and loving for people in the world and so I just urge everybody Come away from the mental identity and come to the now and see, see the home of division is inside the human mind and see the union of love is just beneath it. I'll do more on light language and tongues as time goes on, but for now I just wanted to share that. I love you all. God bless, guys.
है तो अभी की मैं चौप है मैं तो बस पोले नहीं तो नहीं शामिम शामिम पोले